seeing that I had some questions on the rigging, I headed out to the Newport Boat Show. But not without making sure I spent some time at the resort, in the pool, swimming, and in the hot tub. Here we go. This is about the size of, of couscous. It's a little day sailor, same style mass, same style boom. Hiking straps, Tilla. No backstay. I also took note of how some of the tillers were attached to the rudder. In addition to that, I found out that just like the sunfish, small boats don't need a backstay. Interesting in the way these brackets hook up that tiller. Of course, of all the boats there, these classic beauties catch my eye. Colin from Parlay Revival was there. We searched up and down, but didn't find him. What we did find was some great ideas for rigging the O'Day Day Sailor. Having been inspired by the boat show, I wasted no time when I got home, hooked up my stanchions, and raised the sails. It was also a nice night to put on the spotlight and do some yard sailing. Have you ever done some yard sailing? You just sit there, grab the tiller, and you pretend that you're out on the open water. It's possible that these are the original sail. Move the boat. How do you move your boat in the yard? I think it's easier to relocate with the four x four. I'm gonna bring her right there behind me. There she sits for now until I get the rest of my running rigging. It's ordered in the mail already. Then I gotta replace the, the state and put the new registration, new sticker for the registration. It's all already done. And um, a little bit of fiberglass work and we'll get her launched. Um, maybe in a few weeks, we'll see. See how things go. For now, she's camping out. Making some progress. Fueling her up and then heading out to DNR Marine. Put the chains on. Got my RI tag. I need to get the RI vinyl on there. Vinyl lettering. Hey, we brought Tati. The DNR Marine dropped off the mast. We're gonna get a tabernacle put on there. Then we'll be able to do some single-handed mast raising. Right, Tati? What do you think? This is where I marked to have the tabernacle put on. Seeing that it's closer to the deck, I thought it'd be more stable. But if you look at the angle of the cabin top, you'll see that the mast will need to be too steep of an angle. So the tabernacle actually needed to be raised up higher. Thanks to a good call from Rudy at DNR Marine. He suggested raising it up and I agree. It would be much easier to put the mast up with the tabernacle at this height. Let's speed up the process a little bit as we get the vinyl lettering on there. If you know what couscous is, let me know in the comments. basically an N and it's also a Z. It took me a little bit to figure out that there was no designated Z, that it was actually the N you had to turn sideways to use as a Z. Sailing couscous, yeah. So that's the, the temporary name tag. Obviously we're gonna 
touch up the paint on the hull, buff it, wax it, all of that good stuff. Work on the woodworking on the inside. Today I'm picking up the um, the mast. It's gonna have a mast step tab uh, hinged tabernacle like we talked about. That's the way it's hinging. Boop. From the here, going from the aft going forward. So we're getting there step by step. Pretty soon couscous will be in the water. Made it to DR Marines. It was about a 45 minute drive to get here. Let's take a look at the mast. There's the mast head. She looks pretty good. Remember the crinkled side stay wire? There's now new Crinkles. side stays, much thicker than, than the previous ones. They look good, they feel good, new spreaders. And we also added uh, turnbuckles to make it easier to tighten up those stays. Rudy's a great guy. He wanted to make sure that I was able to step the mast before he left for the day, just in case there were any issues that needed to be addressed while he was there. So before raising the mast, we had already to put the pin on the rear uh, pin slot. And then uh, Rudy's there setting the the turnbuckle on the forward, forward stay. And then after that, we were, went to go put the pin in the uh, slot forward. And it wasn't lining up properly. So we're trying to figure out why it didn't line up properly. The plate looked pretty good. So we try to adjust the tension on the force stay, see if maybe it might have been pulling too far because one of the holes didn't line up properly. After fiddling around with it for a little bit, I just realized it just was the way the, likely the way the boat was angled from the driveway. So we put a, a screwdriver right underneath the, um, the forward starboard side base of the plate where it was just sitting a little bit too low, wasn't properly lined up. And then we were able to line up the pin and slide it through. You'll see that in the next clip. And the reason it didn't appear to line up was likely because of the position of the boat on the driveway, angling the mast to one side. With the pin in place, it was now time to tighten up all the turnbuckles and put some tension on that rig. One way to get some fellas together, put a boat out in the yard and raise the mast. What do you think? Nice. <laughs> I, just, I just put this on. Yeah. Put the mast an inch and a half out, put that in. That's great. This one's in really, really good shape for 65. Everything ended up working out well, and then it was time to head on home. Thank you for watching.